nerds as children. I refuse to have a nerd carry the lame tape. If my son is a nerd, one of us has to die, him or me, and I'll challenge him to mortal combat. <laughs> Do you mean that? Ah, this dude, man, like I said, we needed someone like Edge Tate to come. You know, but alas, our prayers have been answered, man. Mortal Kombat, you know, God, this guy's a legend. All right, that's a bit exactly. Yeah. I want you to listen to a song and every 11 to 12 seconds say, oh my God, over it. And after an hour, I guarantee you feel like murdering someone. So would you be with me if I had slept with over 50 men? I'm a high value woman, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Imagine a Muslim wife sitting there in her burqa trying to say this crap. You know, you know, you know what's so cool with Tay is just the he's so un unapologetic. Uh, that's the correct term. Like he just says and he does like what is on his mind, and he's he's the most unpolitically correct person you could ever meet. You know, and it's so nice seeing a guy like him. Thank God in the year of 2022 2022 when everyone's always like kind of like, worried like what to say and everyone really says like what's really you know on their mind so it's really nice to see a character like this let's continue but the way i was feeling i was feeling different inside and i had to psychological dirty <laughs> redo i hate everyone equally don't come at me and call me sexist or racist or any of these things i hate everyone i don't care if you're black white straight gay man and woman i hate you anyway do you know how to administer cpr However, I will not administer CPR unless you're a hot female. If you're some fat dude and you just had a heart attack and I don't really know you, you believe that chemicals you can buy for a dollar that you can't even name, 40 or 50 chemicals that you've never heard of, you can't name, you don't know where they come from, all combined to try and taste like fucking watermelon that you set on fire electronically and inhale deep into your lungs the most unnatural chemicals you can possibly think of, produced cheaply in China. All right, all right let me pause it there. One thing that you, I notice as well with Andrew Tate is, is the IQ and the intellect. Notice when he speaks, it's very, it's direct, it's very like, uh, he speaks without saying you know, or um, or you know, he's always speaking on a consistent uh, kind of tempo, like wavelength, and I think it's really amazing that he doesn't really pause in his speech, he knows what he's saying, and it's like he believes what he's saying, and I think that's why he's gone on all this big um you know traction with like you know most he, you know as i said he's been the most searched person on google which is amazing let's continue it's dangerous for you can you believe that that you set all these chemicals you've never heard on fire from fucking oil and petroleum and fuck knows what and, and you get it deep into your lungs it might actually be bad for you that's incredible that 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 surprised me like i couldn't believe i never expected that i thought no Surely this unregulated liquid that manages to somehow taste like fucking forest fruits made from literally petroleum. It's they fucking got it out. What's that thing in school you learn where they how they refine oil? What's it called? Fucking that thing. Something furnace. You motherfuckers know. I have a feeling that he sometimes just does this in his mansions in Romania. He's just like speaking, you know, <laughs> because he's great. You know, he's one of... It, you know, and like, as me being a big fan of the WWE, he's like a great promo guy. You know, it's like, it's not someone who has to read lines. He can just kind of speak off the cuff. So he would be a great, like, wrestling, you know, in the WWE, like, wrestling character, you know? Is that a person like you, and I mean this with respect, I'm not here to argue with you, which is a professional debate. A person like you, who's re whose entire income, personality, his importance, his ego, everything relies on a Twitch account. If you lose it, you oh, ain't nah. shit. If you lose it, you ain't shit. And the problem is that you could be in 10 car crashes driven by 10 different women, oh, and you will still not come here and say women can't drive as well as men because you are afraid. You are not, you are not non-biased. You are sitting here inside of parameters that you must conform to or you don't exist. Oh I don't God. give a fuck. That's the difference between you and- So, is that lady billing you a new fucking back and rearrange your fucking bones? Why is it being misled for a four hours straight, bro? What is she doing out there, man? Bro, what the fuck? It's gonna be some sort of fucking osteopathic replacement or some shit. I have a lot of muscle. It's it's painful to carry around. It's a two-hour massage. If you want to breathe, if you want to breathe, 
for the rest of the day, if you don't end up in a fucking grave, if you want to sleep in the house where I have to pay the fucking bills, you're going to shut the fuck up, you little prick. Because this is my fucking world, and you exist in my world. If you think you're smart enough to live on your own, fucking run away from home. I think uh, Fresh and Fit said this, like, uh, he, you know, I think what's really cool uh, and why he's become so popular is it's unique. Notice, like, Andrew Tate's accent is a blend of American and English, you know, um, as a as far as I know, um, he was born in Chicago, uh, Illinois, and he's, he then moved to uh, Luton or in England. Um, it, you can tell, just like I said, and even the same with his brother, Tristan Tate, the accent is like some words you, and phrases he says in English to someone, so like, you know, with the American accent. You know, I can definitely relate because I don't sound like an Englishman. Do I? Didn't you? But if you don't want to play that game, shut the fuck up or I'm going to hurt you. I'm going to be like, bang, oh, I've seen that before. Okay, yeah, yeah. boom, boom, duck and Tell dive. Them. Take one terrorist out, next get the AK, go Rambo, take out all of fucking Pakistan with a G. <laughs> I don't play games. Uh, Completely strong. Right. And let me tell you one more thing. We're sitting here talking to professional video game players. You're a professional Fortnite player yourself. To assault you, you won't call the police afterwards and you won't fight back. You'll lay in a ball, you'll get an ass kicking, but you're emotionally strong enough to just to deal with the fact that you got an ass whooped in front of everyone no, in your week. And that's he, fine. He, and everyone should be like you. And that, you I, know what I, we yeah. call? I'm not people saying people everyone like you are called like in most places in the world. People like you yeah. are called in most places stats. in the world are victims. We're, We're called, called prey. Stats. You're a prey. We're called stats. And, and, and let me tell you something. When I inspire men to grow up and be their biggest, strongest version of themselves, emotionally, mentally, physically, yeah. in every single realm, <laughs> that is not a negative thing. What if his dick gets exposed? He has yeah, a like, small I, dick, uncircumcised chode, something like that, like literally exposed. He's fucked. It's four and a half, it's four and a half small. I'm not talking about dicks anymore on this okay, show. Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So I'm talking to some bitch. And she's asking me, when am I ever gonna grow up? I'm like, grow up? I'm six foot three, bitch. So I wouldn't be, who else is six foot three? <laughs> Fucking PewDiePie, PewDiePie. Yeah. Pie. Well, PewDiePie. PewDiePie. So you hear about this story. The biggest YouTuber in the world is a big yeah. gamer and he's like a multi, multi-millionaire. Some broke into his house and robbed him. <laughs> nice big uh, hand. Up. Like, Let me share my I'm stomach. In. Let me share my stomach. Hold on. Am I fat? How old are you? 21. Bruv, 21, you should be strong as an ox. At 21, I could split the earth's core <laughs> with my bare hands. <laughs> fucking, you're 21 years old. You have unlimited energy. You should have a six pack on fucking accident at 21. Oh my god, I ain't laughed so hard in a while, but yo, um, that's like, you know, Andrew Tate's, you know, a couple, a couple of his clips, you know, because I know currently his situation, I'm not gonna get too much into that, um, you know, but a lot of people have sliced up his clip because he's the trendy, you know, thing now. Um, again, I don't necessarily agree on everything he's saying, you know, I can see he is, you know, he's arrogant, he's cocky, he's narcissistic. But on the other side, I feel like you need to be like that to achieve some success. You know, achieve, you know, not even some success. You want to achieve the highest of the highest, be on the top, the Mount Rushmore, the big da da. You know, if you want to be on the top, I believe you need to have that. You know, just that self belief of, yeah, I am the chip and then some. So it is really nice. And I think what's really happening now, which Again, I think it's good. Is it's just a movement, you know. A lot of people are seeing like Tate, and again, this is a guy who's been around for a, a while. You know, he's on reality television. He has his kickboxing career, you know, and now he's like the biggest thing since a hot white omelet. You know, let me know, guys, what you think of Andrew Tate down in the comments. Follow me on social media, and like, I ain't got the Bugatti. I ain't got the Bugatti yet. Make sure not only mine but all y'all out there wallet is updated peace